So as you see below, so it's the illusion, the matrix. A lot of people in this world, damn it all y'all, they're living in the matrix and the illusion. They're blind, your eyes are blinded by the illusion. Illusion that, you, that people care about you. If people really respect others, right? If people value each other, right? Why the hell are stray dogs and cats and sheep better than homeless people? If people value the lives of others, right? If people, everybody sex to say, everybody matters, everybody's value, everybody appreciate it. How come when people get locked up or shit like shit behind bars and they get out with a record to their name, those same people try to get jobs, employment, place to live? You know what I mean? Job place to live, gotta be on their feet. What happens? Their mistake uses against them. They, make, they have it harder because of the mistake they made. The white girl doesn't want to be a prisoner, bro. Or a convict, bro. It's not nobody wants to do that. I personally did for survival, bro. But she be like, tearing my feet, homeless for the damn 30 days. I was tired, I was tired of the last year. I tired of sleeping on concrete. No ID. No money. I got tired of sleeping on the street, tired of surviving. Just walking around every damn morning and evening. Trying to look for stay off the street. It was up. I was tired of that. So I stole a car and got up. Like, tried to sell a car to get three meals in a cot. Three meals in a cot. And put one place to shower and clean. I had to do that. And I don't read a damn thing about it. I do what I had to do. You know what I mean? So no cell phone, no ID, none of that. I was an alien pretty much. I was an alien. And I'll never forget it. And I think this is for black people. I'm going to black people. I'm keep it on it. The white man, white people, she me a lot better than black people when I was homeless, bro. A whole lot better. She me a lot better. That is the truth. There's not a bad black people at all. I'm just keeping it on here. Keep it on here. So if people matter, if this illusion is correct, this matrix we live in, y'all live in, I'm not letting this anymore. This matrix is correct. That everybody matters, all right? That everybody's valued. Why can't people, why aren't we being unified? If businesses are so valuable, right? If businesses care about their employees, right? How come more we make a mistake that the customer you got on your place like that? Why is that the case? Why? If people's feelings matter, right? If people's feelings really matter, then why on social media when they just gang up on your ass, try to cancel you or try to just flame your ass, try to flame you? Fuck how you feel about it. Fuck how you feel about the situation going down. He just flame you one after after another. He just flame you. Come at you left and right. You gotta take that shit. You can't. You can't. You can't. Nothing about it. So those people can't take your appreciation. You can't take retaliation. Blah. Those who can't take retaliation. Retaliation. I don't care how people feel. Yeah, you right. I don't care how my how actions how you hurt my actions. You getting right. Cause I know unlike most people. If I were to lose everything again, God forbid, God forbid, please don't have me have one. God forbid, I'm back into the fire of adversity again. I know from experience, only person to have my back is me. My mom dies, that's it. So all I got is my mother, that's it. All I got is my mom, that's it. So all I got. So once she dies and I want to put another trial in life, I'm on my own. Nobody depends on myself. Let me keep it on it. There's nobody depends on myself. So she goes now. But um, if people, I mean, people care about my, I should care about why this people other, right? If I'm supposed to be in this matrix, be in this, be in this illusion that people value me, that I'm valued and appreciated. I'm, I'm supposed to value and appreciate others, right? I'm supposed to care about how they feel, care about their lives. How come I was starving in 2014, just walking with my shorts, dirty as hell, just every damn morning, just if you're not hungry, just walking around the harbor, just looking, looking for food, surviving, just looking at animals, looking for food. Oh, food here, pick it up. You could kill me, the beast, I just care. If my life matters, right, to people, if my life really matters to people, right, if I'm, if I'm supposed to value a lot of others, right, how come I was in the Hyatt Regency Baltimore, gave me some storm brewing outside, and the same people, the same employees, the hotel where I went to that bistro and gave my money for the food. I got a basement on top of my game. When I was just trying to take shelter from the oncoming storm. Just trying to take shelter from the oncoming storm. 
mad gap. He ain't guess. He kicked out. How come I was dragging my goddamn right leg up fucking Lombard Street? What's Lombard Lake Street? Lake Street. Dragging my fucking right leg. Just my, le my right leg stopped. I couldn't move it. I couldn't move it. It was, it was just done. I couldn't move it. I'm just dragging my right leg up the street. Then I get to Pratt Street. Then I lose my, I mean, my other leg, left leg, goes out of commission. So I'm hand walking back with my damn hands, dragging my freaking legs, dragging my body up, just hand walking back under the building on it. Why did my life matter then, bro? Why didn't people care then? Like, why didn't people care then? Why did my life matter then, bro? Why? Why did why did people just look by? Why did people just actually exist? Why are those two young black women and I asked them for the address of the building when he passed street? I'm talking to the dispatcher on for the ambulance in the hospital. How come he just looked at me? Turned to like he looked at me. Looking yeah, looked at me. Look and just be a huge, huge, big ass strut walk. I kept moving. Why? I ain't better. I'm not mad. I'm seeing what it is. Y'all living in an illusion, man. Y'all are in an illusion in the Matrix. Step out of that shit. Step out of that. The world does not care if you live or you die, bro. Your mother, your father, grandparents, old people would give a damn about you if you lose. Especially if you're a man. Especially if you're a man, man. Especially if you're a man. If, if you're a woman, obviously, a good looking one at that. Obviously, you have people care about you. Obviously, you're going to have a whole lot of attention you need to ask for. If you're a man, if you're a man, you left with me shit, bro. If you are a man in this world, unless you are providing something of value, your life does not mean shit. I'm just keeping it real with you on this. Let me say this again. If you are not providing something of value to somebody, be it money, be it food, be it time for your job, be it skills. Your life don't mean shit. It does not. I want to put my teaching of your parents, your mother and father, probably your grandparents, and that's it. I'll go you like. I'm just keeping it real, bro. I'm not bitter. I don't blame you for my, 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 for my failures, rap career. That's on me. I don't blame anybody for that shit but myself. No, but by myself. This is a YouTube video. It's a YouTube video. It's too long for that. It's a YouTube video. YouTube, from YouTube. But uh, my rap career, I'm the reason I ain't where I want to be. This is on me, not you, not anybody else. It's on me. My thing. It's my fault. It's my responsibility. Mine. It's my responsibility. I did this myself. I'm not marketing my shit. I'm focused on getting skills and kind of education. My not the issue. And I realize I'm not mad. I'm making rap fans. No bitterness, no animosity. It's your decision. But I'm not marketing it to you no more because I did market previous campaigns. I got nothing from y'all niggas. So what's the point? If I'm marketing to my music to y'all and American rap fans ain't engaging with it, what's the point of keep trying to be, you know, be down the door? It's not open it. So keep it moving. Go find another door. Go to the world. You tell I'm doing, you feel me? You know how I have feelings. I'm just keeping it 100. I ain't better than none of that shit. I'm, everything I have my, my responsibility. Everything. Even as a kid from foster care. That's on me. Shit didn't be acting what I was acting. Shit didn't pay myself. I can handle it. Let's care I go. Everything, even in school, college, for college, why I need successful, no discipline. Should I put the access controller down, picked up them books, started studying. Should not do, fuck my life up, that's on me. Even being in challenges that the part of the program I was in back in 2014, that's on me too. If I had just taken my medication, if I could have taken my medication from subscribed and dealt and just talk. Tolerated the weeds from my housemate, I would have been with that, but I didn't. So, so me, yeah, you know I mean, Tim Zio getting long. I don't watch this point, keep going anyway. But yeah, man, that's life. Y'all in the matrix, man. I ain't there, I'm not better like that. Y'all in the matrix. Y'all, the majority of y'all niggas are in a matrix, bro. A matrix to think the illusion where you feel that everybody in this world loves you. Everybody in the world cares about you. Niggas, niggas don't give a fuck. I'm just keeping it real. They don't. Because once you lose everything, once you go through serious tough times, look up who's right. Who by your side? Look up, go Go down, Satan. Who by your side? That's me, you right. Your parents go, who got your back? Who really got your back? Keep them, think about that. Keep about y'all. Stay man. I'm out.